entitled Yi Feng. Yi means uh, something lost and uh, all happened a long time ago. And uh, also means uh, something lost, but you can you know, trace it or bring it back. Feng means style. And uh, this piece was written in 1983, at that time when I was still in China. And uh, this is for solo cello without uh, accompaniment. At that time, because I was uh, educated in China, fully like Western you know, education, I got a fully Western education. But uh, uh, when I was trying to, you know, writing something, I always find uh, that kind of way was not the way, you know, to fully exp express myself. So then I tried to, you know, study something between Western and Chinese music. Then I, I, I got some very interesting result. So this piece uh, was the first piece that I written. You know, uh, when I start to, you know, style a new style. So when I, you know, compare the uh, both music, so I compare some basic elements. We we always we said that there are four, you know, very basic element uh, elements in music. For instance, uh, you have to have a pitch, you have to have a rhythm, you have to have a dynamics, or you have to have a timbre. Right. Without uh, one of these, the music uh, is not going to exist. So then I find, uh, I found in, for instance, in pitch, uh, in Western music, if you, in the Western composers, they pay a lot of attention uh, to pitch relationships. For instance, you have a harmony or counterpoint, all those uh, related to pitch. But in Chinese music, Usually we pay attention to the tone quality and the micro, microtonal in one tone. Okay, all those interchanges, and uh, also if you compare the both the, you know similar instruments uh, in Chinese and Western music. For instance, we say like a violin or Chinese violin, or two strings we call a hu, right? Or you compare guitar with the pipa. They, they are the same in, in the same uh, kind of instrument. Then you find that the Chinese music, the body is always smaller. Or you compare bamboo fruit with Western fruit. Okay, so the sound is different. The tone quality is different. Always brings, you know, bring you some uh, noise. And uh, also you find that the rhythm in Western music, you have march or wars, like three, four, or more obviously in rock and roll, you find you know you, you always find a pause in Western music, but in Chinese music uh, you find some cello rondo or rita, especially like in Peking opera or in you know, some local operas. So then I just uh, you know exaggerate these uh, Chinese characters to make this uh, music uh, to you know make make this piece. And uh, also this piece was written you know, for a Chinese uh, cellist, uh, I think five years ago, just this time, five years ago, he uh, premiered that. Then this piece uh, you know, shocked the you know, people in China because at that time they never heard any you know, avant-garde music. Actually, my intention was not to write uh, avant-garde music. I just want to exaggerate these Chinese characters. So finally this has become uh, an avant-garde music. So when... <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, you know, when the cellist uh, that time you know, premiered this piece, and also uh, he played in his graduation day, so at that time, the central, in the, the committee in the Shanghai Conservatory of Music told him, "Don't play this piece. If you play this piece, if you can get an A, then we will give you a B." Okay. So finally, he still played, but they gave him a B. <laughs> but he said, "This honored a B." 
And uh, so I think uh, let's uh, hear Ted Mook, the cellist, to play this piece. Thank you.
Thank you. 